we were given f of pi divided by four equals six, f prime of pi divided by four equals three, g of x equals f of x times sine x, and h of x equals f of x divided by cosine x. We're asked to determine g prime of pi divided by four and h prime of pi divided by four. So to begin, g of x is equal to f of x times sine x. So because g of x is a product of two functions of x, to find g prime of x, so the derivative, we need to apply the product rule of differentiation. g prime of x is equal to the first function of f of x times the derivative of the second function, which is, which is the derivative of sine x, which is equal to cosine x, plus the second function of sine x times the derivative of the first function, which is the derivative of f of x, or f prime of x which means g prime of pi divided by four is equal to f of pi divided by four times cosine pi divided by four plus sine of pi divided by four times f prime of pi divided by four. Continuing, g prime of pi divided by four again is equal to f of pi divided by four, which is given as six, times cosine pi divided by four is equal to square root two divided by two, and then plus sine of pi divided by four is also square root two divided by two, and f prime of pi divided by four is given as three. Simplifying, we have g prime of pi divided by four is equal to six square root two divided by two, plus three square root two divided by two, which is equal to nine square root two divided by two. G prime of pi divided by four equals nine square root two divided by two. And that's we're gonna determine h prime of pi divided by four. H of x is equal to f of x divided by cosine x. So because here we have a quotient of two functions of x, we need to apply the quotient rule of differentiation to determine h prime of x. So h prime of x is equal to, starting with the denominator, the denominator is the original denominator squared, which gives us the square of cosine x, or cosine squared x. In the numerator, we have the denominator of cosine x times the derivative of the numerator, which is the derivative of f of x, or f prime of x and then minus the numerator of f of x times the derivative of the denominator, which is the derivative of cosine x, which is negative sine x. And now let's determine h prime of pi divided by four. This is equal to, starting with the denominator, we have cosine squared of pi divided by four. In the numerator, we have cosine of pi divided by four times f prime of pi divided by four. And then we have minus a negative. Let's write this as just plus f of pi divided by four times sine of pi divided by four. And now let's sub in the values. h prime of pi divided by four is equal to, in the denominator, cosine pi divided by four is equal to square root two divided by two. And since we have cosine squared pi divided by four, we have the square of square root two divided by two. In the numerator, cosine pi divided by four is square root two divided by two times f prime of pi divided by four, again, is given as three. And then we have plus f of pi divided by four is given as six times sine pi divided by four, again, is square root two divided by two. This is equal to, in the numerator we have three square root two divided by two plus six square root two divided by two, giving us nine square root two divided by two. In the denominator, the square of square root two is two and the square of two is four. The denominator simplifies to two fourths or one half. H prime of pi divided by four is equal to nine square root two divided by two divided by one half, which is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of two over one. 
simplifying before multiplying. 2 divided by 2 simplifies to 1. h prime of pi divided by 4 equals 9 square root 2. I hope you found this helpful.